Hey everybody, it's Kim here with another, yet another Timu haul. Um, yeah, I may single-handedly be keeping Timu in business, it's quite possible. Although, I do return a lot. Like, I return anything that doesn't really inspire me, I do return. So, um, yeah. I, I, a lot of times I'm buying more things with the credit from what I return because I've just hit that point where if it doesn't speak to me, if it doesn't make me feel something special, then um, I'm not keeping it. So anyway, here's another shirt that is on the block um, in my closet clean out. And I have to say there is absolutely nothing wrong with this shirt. It's a perfectly fine shirt. And I, this was a shirt I used to wear to work all the time. But honestly, I don't know that it does anything for me now. So I'm, and then, hold on, but wait. I also have the exact same shirt in green and purple. My only green shirt, I'm pretty sure. And one of my only purple shirts. So I don't know. I'm going to have to think about these because, like I said, there's absolutely, let me hang this back up. There's, let me turn this on so you can get a better look of it back here. Oh no, I thought my light bulb blew out. Turn that back off. Ah, my little spotlight. Um, like I said, there's nothing wrong with it. It just, I don't know. I look in the mirror and I just don't get too excited, but I'm thinking. Let me know what you think about these shirts and the multitude of colors. All right, so anyway, my channel is never too late and welcome. If you have watched my videos before, I truly appreciate you coming back for more. And um, if this is your first time, welcome. I hope you enjoy. Um, if you have not subscribed, please do. And if you would like notification of when my videos are coming out, you can hit the notification bell. So, um, let's get started. I did in this haul get a couple of I'm gonna try to do these three together I got I got three like bra cami type things um you know I feel like I'm constantly searching for things that I can wear under v-necks that look like a cami but actually act like a bra so I can kind of double up and but have something so it's something showing with the v-neck that looks a little bit intentional so this one I don't think really fits that bill but it just I liked that it had this big back and I thought it was I'm trying to get the strap. Ooh, I thought it was kind of pretty. So anyway, I'm going to give this one a try and see if it gives any, any shape. We'll see. Obviously I'm going to try the bra on under the clothes, so you won't actually get to see them, but I'll let you know if I think that they work well. Now this one, I think would be really nice under a v-neck with this lace. I think that that lace is very pretty. And if you had a V, you know, that peeking out would look intentional. So there's that one. And this is the third one. This is more of a crop cami than actually like a bralette, but it's just a little crop cami, but it has these very thin straps. So, um, something that you could put on and have some black showing, but the straps are so small that it, it might not be as noticeable. So I wanted to give all three of those a try and see. Okay, next, 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 this shirt. And let me tell you, I already have everything out of the bags and all here because this is my third attempt at filming this because I have had technical problem after technical problem with this this particular haul I don't know what it was um well actually the first one my camera was completely out of batteries it went to like five percent darken the screen nope you cannot film anymore and then the second time I was using the microphone and that went out of batteries so but I did see a couple comments in my last one the one I posted today where people said they preferred it without the microphone I'd really started using the microphone for when I was farther away to hear better so I don't know this one is without the microphone let me know what you think um, I feel I still think that microphone is handy and will come in handy when I start doing some of the um, upcycling things that I want to do, especially if I go outside and decide to start spray painting anything, which there are some things that I have spray painting plans for. So um, anyway, I've kind of been waiting for the weather to get a little cooler because 
going outside and spray painting and you know 90 plus degree heat is not my idea of fun time so this little top is also just a little um a little crop but i love the it's ribbed but it really feels more like sweater material um more knit than um anything else i loved the color though for fall i just think this is a great color for fall to stick under something else um, another shirt, maybe something, uh, a sweater with a V-neck maybe would show. I don't know. I just, I really love the color and, and I, I don't know. It just made me think I could do something with it. Okay. I know I have been looking and looking and looking for a hot pink shirt. And in that process, I did come across this one that is long sleeve. So, I think with the long sleeve, it's going to just give me a whole different vibe. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited to try this one on and see. So we have that one. I have another shirt. Um, this one is sleeveless, but it's one of those type of shirts that I think would look really cute or could potentially look really cute under a sweater or um, a blazer or something like that, a cardigan, whatever. But um, I thought the print was really pretty. It is sleeveless. It has this lace neckline. Um, the thing I didn't like about it is this. In between, there are not buttons here. It's sewn. But in between the places where it's sewn, it's just open. So it's almost like as if the sewn places were where the buttons would go. Like it's a button up with holes. I, it's just very, it's very odd. Very odd. So not really sure. Um, oh, I did have some earrings. Now, these came as a two-pack. And if you saw my haul with the uh, snowman sweatpants, here are earrings to match. How exciting is that? I love it. I love the matching earrings. And like I said, that came in a two, uh, two pair set along with these little Christmas trees that honestly, to me, they look like a little, um, probably what they meant them to look like. Um, little Christmas cookies that are iced, little cutout cookies, iced. Oh, I used to have so much fun when I was a kid making those cookies. Um, okay. The next thing I have are these hair clips that look like little kitty cats, but they're like the uh, tortoise shell. So I'm gonna take, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna take this one out. I just had this, oh, I like these clips I have. I have a little set of them in different colors, but my hairs get stuck in them sometimes. These are just little plain black ones. Um, but if my hair keeps getting stuck, those may have to go because it's just not worth it. But anyway, I just think these are really cute for just like pulling my hair back when it's like today being a frizzy mess. So anyway, let's just go with that. I thought they were very, very cute. Very cute. Um, what am I missing? Oh, sweater cardigan. I like this cardigan one show you the colors. I like the colors. I'm going to go ahead and try this on. I like the colors. I am a pink girl. I think pink and gray together are really nice, but I also like that it's kind of light and, and almost neutral. I feel like I could put something of a brighter color underneath. I think I could do a lot with this sweater. The other thing I like about it is this. It's, it's very thin and light. Um, I know I've mentioned this before, but being the age that I am, I get those hot flashes, which are so very much fun. And, um, you know, for wearing things to work where I am never cold, I'm always hot in, in the winter there. Um, cardigans are great for work for me because one thing I can take it off and on as I need to or want to. Oh, I love how these arms really... They're really good around my wrist. They're not real tight, but they actually keep my sleeves from falling down too far. Um, anyway, 
this is light enough that I think I could wear it a lot longer over something without getting hot. So I, I like it on that course too. So I'm just going to leave the obnoxious blinking light. Is that blinking? Why is it blinking? All right. Anyway, I don't think it's noticeable. I like, I like this one. I think this is a keeper. I'm just going to, I'm going to throw this one in the keeper pile because I think I will definitely wear it. And I have, and I am a cardi girl. I am a cardigan girl. I like cardigans. I have always, I've always liked them. I like other things too, but I do like a nice cardigan. And, um, I have some cardigans that I really love that I'm going to be unpacking soon. And I've just worn them so much that they're just, you know, sweaters just get that. And you can do that little vacuuming thing, but, you know, after a while, especially for me around the sleeves in certain areas, they just start looking ratty. And I do have a couple that I love. That's my, I just throw, I throw in my keeper pile, which is the going into the laundry pile. Um, anyway, I have some that have, I have loved them. I have loved them to the point where they no longer look nice. So I will probably either be getting rid of those or switching them out and keeping, like I keep one on my desk chair here for when I work at home. When I get cold, I'll just have a sweater hanging on my chair and then maybe take one also into work and just keep it in at work to throw on when I'm cold, if I ever get cold. So I might keep a couple for that, the ones I love the most, but yeah. I'm a, I think it's, it's gonna be a lot of turnover on the sweaters, I'm afraid, this year. All right, next I got this cute little pair of shoes, but you know, honestly, I'm looking at them now and I'm, they must have looked cuter in the picture because not that they're not cute, but I don't love them. Like they're okay, but I don't love them. I, I, I don't know. You know, I am weird. I, I don't know if I've ever said this before on here, but I am very weird with white sandals and white, white shoes, not tennis shoes or anything like that, but I am really weird with white sandals and white, you know, wedges. I, I I'm very picky about them. Like, I can like them in multiple colors and then go to put the look at the white ones and not like not like them in white when I like them in other colors. I don't know. All right, these are tight. These are let me back up. They're tight, um, they might stretch, but the combination of them being pretty tight and the fact that I just don't really, honestly, when I'm looking at them up close and personal, I don't love them. Um, I think I'll end up sending those back. Well, I have two more things for you, two more. The next is a bag. Look at this bag. Oh, it has a strap and this will adjust to get pretty big. And then you open it from the back and then it's it's not it's not huge inside, obviously, but it's plenty big for um, putting in your phone and a chapstick or lipstick and you know for me a pair of reading glasses. And what I'm thinking about, I just think it's so cute. What I'm thinking about for using it for honestly the most is. When my husband and I go listening to music and half the time I just want to get up and dance and I don't want to worry about my bag being somewhere. Um, so this is just, I'm going to have to make it bigger, probably much bigger than that. That strap's going to have to, but how would I do this? Just go like this. Have There we go. Have that cute little kitty cat on my back and just dance the night away. I'm sorry, I've subjected you to my singing. But anyway, you get the idea. Yeah, when I was in grade school and I, I was at a sleepover 
<laughs> and we were doing like be the singer everyone jump up on the I think we were using like a a, st a stool or an ottoman or something like that and everyone took a turn jumping up and singing a song and I jumped up to sing my song and I sang about three notes and they were all like please stop singing you can't sing <sighs> kids can be cruel they're right but yeah that kind of you know let me know my my future as a singer right then and there but anyway so i've subjected you to my singing so now you've seen the very worst of me but that's okay um one more thing oh and don't worry i still sing i sing in the car i sing along i i still sing because i like to sing so whatever um these shoes look at these look at these I think that they are beautiful and I know I have more than my fair share of shoes I would be lying if I didn't say that I have more shoes than I need I'm nothing if not honest with myself um so I know I'm trying to get these on without disappearing below the camera let me back up <laughs> I know that I don't, that I have more shoes than I need, but um, I do not, believe it or not, have brown. Um, and these sandals just really caught my attention. Get the other one on to adjust the straps a little. I do have the, the zipper in the back. So getting them on and off, oops. Trying to get my foot in there. These straps here, the straps are making it more difficult, I think, because they want to step and get twisted. All right, we'll just leave them like this for now, and I will zip them up in a minute. You get the idea, anyway. These are about as high as I go, not a wedge. Um, and these are thinner than I normally would pick, but they were so cute. And yeah, I think I'm good in them. But anyway, all right, guys, I am going to start trying things on. I think I'm gonna leave these shoes on for the video just so I can get an idea of how they feel. Cause it's good to know. I mean, walking around in them for, 10 minutes or so, it gives you an idea. If, if they hurt after 10 minutes, I know that I should listen to what my body's telling me and send them back. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm gonna fix this. I should have fixed it a minute ago. Let's go back here with this. Okay, this, you know what? We're just gonna let it be a frizzy mess. My hair is a frizzy mess today, but Okay, um, this shirt is kind of, is it just me? I think it's kind of giving me like 1950s housewife for some reason. I don't know if it's the pattern or, I don't know. It's not doing anything for me though. And these holes are weird, but I did try on that white bra. So if I did have a V-neck and had a little bit of this lace showing, I think that would be very pretty. So I think the bralette is a keeper. But this shirt, yeah, this one's a, this one's, this one's going back. Be right back with the next one. Okay, here's that, I don't know what you want to call it, rust colored little um, crop top. It's exactly what I thought it was going to be. I do have that, um, the one that, the black bra that was more of a bra with the really thick straps. Um, I do like it. This, this is what exactly I was thinking of. Putting it under something else, a sweater, a, um, I don't know, a sweater, a shirt like this. And this shirt is in my get rid of, should I get rid of pile? And here's why I never wear it. <laughs> this is why. It is a little too small at this point. Um, but if you see the back, it's a beautiful shirt and I really like it. Um... I kind of like this shirt with the shoes. I 
I do like the shoes. But anyway, um, yeah. So this, but this is the idea. It does give you the idea. I mean, I could wear this. It's fine. Um, but it's just still a little tight. Um, I think that this outer shirt is going to be something that's going to go into a, uh, a bin for next next year and it's going to kind of be the next season if i don't fit in it fit in it comfortably next season then it has to go that's kind of what i'm doing with things that i'm having trouble getting rid of that don't quite fit me they get six more months or one more season and if they don't fit me by the next season then they have to go but anyway i think this is a keeper i do like it i really do like it i can I can see it going with different things with a pair of black pants and the right jewelry. I think it'd be super cute. All right, let me get on to the last. Oh no, I'm wrong. This wasn't the thick straps. This was the little bralet, actually. I was wrong. This is the little bralet. Um, so let me try that other bra on with the pink long sleeve shirt and I'll be right back. Okay, I think this is actually a really great spring and fall shirt. Um, I love the the elastic in the sleeves so the sleeves don't go down too, too far and I can pull them up very easily. Um, I like the neckline. I like the the kind of, I don't know what you want to call this, the little trim here and I like that it's sewn all the way up. Um, yeah, I do. I like the color. Um, I think this one is a keeper. I am... Um, I can see myself wearing this one to work for sure. I feel a sneeze coming on. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. I try very hard to keep the sneezes at bay and normally the pinch your nose trick works, but it did not today. Um, allergies. You know, some people get seasonal allergies. I get every season allergies. <laughs> That's not the leaves on the trees, it's the grass, or it's the pollen. <laughs> it's something, I think. I don't know. And I cannot not be outside, so I suffer. But that's fine. Actually, I'm not really suffering. I just sneeze sometimes. But anyway, I think this is cute. I actually like this with the shoes as well. Maybe with a belt, a brown belt, or... I don't know, maybe a lighter pink, but I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I like this. I have that, I do have the black bra with the um, thicker stripes under here. It's very comfortable. Um, so yeah, I like this one. Um, that's not too bad. I'm keeping most things. I am gonna return those little white sandals and that lighter pink pattern with a flower pattern um, shirt. But I do like the shoes. I do. Oh, something's going on with the cuff of my pants. Anyway, I do like the shoes, these brown sandals. They, I don't think they're shoes I would wear for long periods of time or if I was going to be on my feet walking a lot. But I could definitely wear these at work when I would be sitting at my desk, you know, and only be getting up and walking here and there occasionally. Um, or you know, going out to dinner or something like that. Absolutely, I can see myself wearing them and I think they're super cute. So, they are a keeper. Um, as always, I appreciate you watching so much. And if you um, would like to subscribe, that would be amazing. I'm ever so slowly crawling up to 500 subscribers. Um, I'm a little bit over 450 now um so i appreciate if you haven't subscribed if you would that'd be great and also if you like or comment it does help me out i think that pushes my video out a little bit more also if i will try to put the links um not too long after i post the video i'll try to get the links for everything um in the description for you i have um I started an Instagram account to kind of pair with the YouTube channel here, but um, I 
going to start posting my YouTube um, link also in my, I mean not YouTube, my Instagram link in my um, description for my videos. Well, I'm going to try to make up a little template tonight so I can just kind of post everything easily. Um, so look for that. And if you are on Instagram and that's a platform you follow as well, please, um, please like me there as well. And also if I, I ever get to the point I don't know. I like Instagram too because I think there might be some times when I'm out and about and I don't really have time for videos that maybe I could just post some pictures and stuff. So I'm hoping to kind of get that going as well, just kind of as a, a sister sister project with this um, YouTube channel, which has been so amazing and I've had so much fun doing. But anyway, look in the description. I will be working on getting links and I'm going to try to go back retroactively and put links in other team videos. It's going to be a slow process for them to work on it. And also, um, if you see something and I haven't gotten the links up yet, I'm going to try to get myself quicker at that. But if you have not, um, if you don't see the links in the description yet, and there's something specific that you see that you would really like, let me know. And I am more than happy to, um, to drop a link for you right there or that will spur me to get the links going faster um yeah i'm really liking these shoes as i'm standing here in them i like feeling taller and the other thing is um at work we do have standing desks at work and so i can i can either sit or stand or anything in between i'm not sure what that is um, don't think I could sustain a squat for an entire work day, but, um, I just kind of have my own way of, of doing my standing desk in that it doesn't matter if the shoes I'm wearing are comfortable to stand in a long time for or not. If I'm standing up, I'm listening to music and if I'm listening to music, I'm probably going to be dancing. So I did buy myself one of those really padded standing mats um that is under my desk and i pull it out when i pull my put my standing desk up and then i can be rocking out doing my dancing thing as i'm typing or with my mouse dancing the night away and i just take my shoes off or i guess dancing my work day away but yeah i'm that one <laughs> I am that person in my office. I am the one with headphones or earbuds in, standing up at my desk barefoot, dancing while I'm working, and trying really hard not to sing out loud and <laughs> just disturb everyone around me. But yeah, I don't think for anyone that actually watches my videos that that actually probably surprises you very much anyway. But I guess I should wrap it up. I need someone behind the camera going, wrap it up, get him, wrap it up. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. I have so much fun making these videos and um, it's crazy and wonderful that people actually watch them. I, it's, I don't take that for granted, believe me. So anyway, remember that it's never too late to try something new, to step outside of your comfort zone a little because you just never know where that might lead you. Um, I, I, this, doing this, YouTube channel was a very big step outside of my comfort zone and I could not be more happy that I did. So I would encourage you to, you know, maybe take baby steps first, but um, if there's something out there that you want to do or that you think that would be so fun to do, but there's like for this, something holding you back, like, oh, if only I had had, if this was around when I was younger, um, or I worry what people will think or any of that. Um, or will I be good at it? Or will I look stupid? All of those thoughts, you know, that can come with kind of putting yourself out there and trying something that's a little scary or in your mind is a little risky. And I'm not talking about doing things that are actually risky to your health or safety or that of anyone else. Not talking about that at all. Talking about safe things <laughs> that feel <laughs> feel risky. Um, but anyway, I like to put that disclaimer in because I don't want anyone to go like I don't know do something dangerous and have that be my fault. That would that would be bad. Um, so anyway, 
you just don't know what your reward you might get from just taking that little step outside of your comfort zone. And then you might make your comfort zone just a little bigger. And then the next step might take you just a little farther. And you never, you just don't know where it'll lead. Um, for me, it's led to gaining so much self-confidence, um, so much more belief in myself, um, seeing myself entirely different, you know, seeing myself, I can look in the mirror and think I'm, I'm kind of a pretty lady. Whereas before I looked in the mirror and all I saw were the reasons why I wasn't. Um, so you just don't know. It takes you to unexpected places sometimes when you, when you push outside and you take a little bit of a risk and take a little bit of a chance on something new. Maybe you find, and I'm not talking about necessarily putting yourself out there publicly like this, but you know, taking a class. Maybe you've always wanted to paint, take a painting class or... You thought it would be really fun to do some type of craft or activity or sport. Sometimes you gotta give it a try. But anyway, I just want to encourage you, you know, and I understand maybe baby steps first, but I want to encourage you to just give things a try and not be afraid. Not to let your own negative self-talk keep you from the joy that is out there in the world. And uh, most of all, I wish you all just the happiest, happiest days, happiest life. Um, I hope you all find the things that make you ridiculously happy. And um, I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye, everybody.